Thrall, offspring of Orc, is raised as a slave of humans. The day comes when he manages to escape his tormentors. He swears revenge. And the battle for Azeroth continues, this time completely in 3D. In introducing Warcraft 3, Blizzard is betting on graphics that are far superior to most strategy games on the market. Fans of the first two Warcraft games will have to change their way of thinking. Battles were once more of a background task, and strategic thinking was key to victory. But with Warcraft 3, Blizzard has introduced a new way to play, role-playing strategy or RPS. Players will control small but powerful parties. Battles are more interactive, and the action takes precedence over everything. Instead of creating dozens of warriors and wizards on your own, you retain heroes to whom you can assign various units. What we're going to do is we're going to have a, a large continuous storyline in the way of StarCraft, where rather than having, uh, you know, WarCraft 2, you had two mirroring storylines. You could play orcs or humans, and then depending on which one you played, it kind of affected, you know, the ending. Um, in StarCraft, we had one large continuous storyline where it was, you know, a story that had beginning, middle, and end, and you just played races at different points of the storyline. And I think you'll see that more in, in this. But I think one of the things that, uh, that we want to do is uh, actually make the races even more specialized than the past. And we want to make the races be really interesting in multiplayer. Oh. You know, I think anytime you see a sequel that come out, comes out, you see, you know, the existing kind of player base that have played the previous sequels, and they always jump in, and, and they very quickly get in. And then even with, uh, you know, like Warcraft 2, I'm sure we had plenty of new players that hadn't played Warcraft 1, and they get into it. And I think in, when in, in a role-playing game system, it's even easier for new players to get into it because role-playing games do a much better job at, like storyline bringing you into things. So that's one of the things we're trying to capture from that bring to a strategy game is, is how immersive and, and bringing you into the storyline in a much more interesting way. I mean, even StarCraft had a lot of role-playing elements in that way where you know, we had characters that talked to you and they actually did things and there would be cutscenes and things of that nature. So we're just kind of taking that to the next level. In addition to the familiar orcs and humans, there are four other races, including elves, which have formed an alliance with the humans and the pesky dwarves. Due to Warcraft 3's refined resource management model, managing your race and building up your village will consume much less playtime. Thanks to Blizzard's Rob Pardo, our glimpse at Azeroth's next great war was very informative. <laughs>